don't sit around thinking about Ryan. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. You walked in on me telling him to stay out of my life. Yeah, I heard the words. But you don't believe me. I think I've put you in a difficult position. You have no choice but to try and make things work between us. Or you'll send me to prison for the rest of my life. Those were your terms and I accepted them. What else do you want me to say? I want you to be honest. Be honest when you hate me. Be honest when I make you happy. Be honest when you're worried about Ryan. Yes, I'm concerned about Ryan. He's not in the hospital to get his tonsils out. It's serious. I want him to get better. Thank you. That's all it is. I told you I'd live with our arrangement, but you need to start letting it happen. I really have to go. To work? Where else would I be going? Here's to your hero. Carrying the mantle of Uncle Stewart. You know, when I think about all the times he's rubbed his moral superiority in my face, criticizing me for how I took over Cortland, what a joke. I am sure there's an explanation. I found it right here. You know, maybe you guys are going to be standing in front of the minister when the feds show up to slap handcuffs on Scott. That can't happen. I'd be the first to visit him, though, because I just want to see his face behind bars. Oh, come on, JR. Nobody else needs to know about this. What, just our little secret, huh? Just the three of us? Uh, well, we, we'll destroy the evidence. You mean the evidence that we know about? You think there's more? Why well, have a way of catching up. We both know that. And this one happens to be huge. We could lose everything. I mean, for God's sakes, Annie, we, we mortgaged half the company on this project. So here's to Scott. He was able to do what Uncle Palmer was trying to do for decades. Tear down Chandler. Please, JR, you can't go after Scott for this. It's not his fault. Why, whose is it? Mine. Stealing it was my idea. Maybe I did get together with JR for all the wrong reasons. And because I I just found out that Crystal and David were my parents because I I didn't know where I stood. And I, I needed to feel like like I belonged somewhere. And plus he was sick and needed someone to take care of him. But I mean that's not enough for a marriage. Not a real one anyway. It was so much more than that. Otherwise you wouldn't be fighting so hard for all of this, and neither would JR. Was he really fighting that hard? He wants you to come to the beach with him for a romantic weekend. That doesn't sound like a guy who's given up on his family. Is that what you think I'm doing? Giving up? You have had everything yanked out from under you, and even after all that, you are still standing. Barely. You know something? You are so much tougher than you give yourself credit for. And I'm a pretty good judge of character. Most of the time. <laughs> Look, Marissa, JR and I, we have our problems. But he seems to want this thing to work. But it sounds like you're not so sure. So you have to ask yourself, do you still love him? I do. That's why it hurts. I love him so much. Can I trust you here alone for a few minutes? Probably not. Be right back. All right. Be good. Mm -hmm. Dr. Forrest, dial 182. Dr. Forrest, please dial 118. Dr. Kravitz, you have a visitor in the main lobby. Dr. Kravitz, a visitor in the main lobby. Can I help you? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, I'm a friend of Ryan Lavery's. I just, you know, wanted to see how he's doing. We're not allowed to give out that information. No, no of course not. But you can see for yourself. I'm bringing in his lunch. Come on. 
Hey. 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 I, um, I was in the neighborhood. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Well, you know, I couldn't help but look at your chart. It seems like you're doing much better than that. Just listen to the doctor this Stop, time, okay? Rima. What? You're not here because I'm sick. You're here because David is hanging an axe over your head, and you know that I can help you. 